Get ready for a wild ride to the animal kingdom. We're diving into the dark side of Mother Nature's creations, where seemingly harmless body parts turn into lethal weapons. Let the adventure begin. Piercing Tusks When it comes to large, scary-looking, curving tusks, the babarusa stands out among animals. These pigs come from Indonesia and have been around for over 35,000 years. Their tusks might look like horns, but they're actually their upper teeth that poke through the skin of their faces. These tusks are believed to have evolved to protect their eyes and throats when male babarusa pigs fight each other during the mating seasons. Some people in Indonesia think that the pigs use their tusks to hang from trees and surprise females, but that's just a made-up story. Luckily, that story isn't true, so you don't have to worry about a pig falling onto your head anytime soon. However, the babarusa's tusks can cause problems. If a male babarusa doesn't grind his tusks regularly, they can keep growing up to 12 inches long and start curving back into his own skull. Depending on how deep they go, this can make the pig blind or even worse, kill it. Imagine winning over all the females but then dying because of your own teeth. Be a bad way to go. Death by Shell Tortoises are renowned for their magnificent shells that provide them with the ultimate body armor. These shells are a fusion of bone plates from their ribs and backbones, creating a robust shield that gives tortoises their distinct appearance. However, it's not just about looks. These shells play a crucial role in the tortoises' lives. While the shell offers a secure retreat when faced with danger, it comes with an amusing quirk. Due to their top-heavy structure, tortoises have a tendency to tip over. We've all seen this in cartoons. A tortoise wiggling and squirming on its back like a determined acrobat performing a hilarious balancing act. But in the wild, this seemingly comical situation can turn into a life-or-death struggle. When a tortoise finds itself upside down, it becomes completely trapped by its magnificent, not to mention heavy, shell. Unable to access food, water, or escape the scorching sun, the tortoise becomes incredibly vulnerable. Predators looking nearby see it as an easy meal, and dehydration becomes a menacing threat. Remarkably, tortoises themselves seem to grasp the severity of this predicament instinctively. In acts of remarkable camaraderie, fellow tortoises have been observed coming to the rescue. They rally together, using their own bodies as battering rams. They're determined to tip their stranded friend back onto its feet. It's a heartwarming display of solidarity and a testament to the remarkable intelligence of these incredible creatures. But hold on to your shells, there's a twist. During the thrilling mating season, male tortoises engage in exhilarating battles, aiming to flip their opponents onto their backs. It's an epic showdown where the mighty shell roll becomes the ultimate knockout move. Who would have thought that such a simple maneuver could decide the fate of these tenacious creatures? A shocking turn of events. With their amazing power to produce electric shocks, electric eels were thought to be supernatural. They're a type of knife fish, and they love chilling in the muddy streams of the Amazon basin in South America. So how do these fish become real-life electric dynamos? Well, they've got around 6,000 special cells called electrocytes inside their slender bodies. It's kind of like they got tiny batteries stored up in there. When they feel threatened or want to catch some dinner, they can release a shock that can reach a jaw-dropping 800 volts. Might be an awesome hunting and defensive weapon, but the electric eel's electric superpower can backfire on them, too. If that crazy strong current passes through their heart or brain, game over. You see, all of their major organs are squeezed up in their head, while the rest of their body acts like a battery-like tail. When they're ready to unleash their electric fury, electric eels straighten out their bodies like a stiff rod and then curl into a U-shape, with their head a bit ahead of their tail. It's all about taking the shortest route along the electric path. But here's the thing, the electric eel's head is positively charged, while its tail is negative. They need to position themselves just right. They mess up even a little, boom. Electric current goes through their heart, and it lights out for them. These mistakes tend to happen when they're stressed or threatened by some predator. But guess what? They learn their lesson real quick, because you don't mess with high voltages twice. Kamikaze Attack You ever experienced the sharp sting of a honeybee? Yeah, they're painful as heck, but here's the thing. It's actually the bee that gives the short end of the stick in this encounter. When a honeybee stings you, it leaves its stinger embedded in your skin, and that's when things take a tragic turn for the bee. Leaving its stinger behind causes a major abdominal rupture for the poor bee. It tears away parts of its digestive tract, muscles, and nerves, ultimately leading to its demise. Suddenly, the pain of the sting doesn't seem so bad when you realize the cost the bee pays. Interestingly, this outcome is not what nature intended. Honeybee stingers have actually evolved to serve a different purpose. They contain two micro rows of sawtooth-like blades, which are specifically designed to pierce the hard exoskeletons of insects that try to invade their hives. With this unique structure, bees can use their stingers repeatedly in defense. 
However, when it comes to mammals like us, our fibrous skin gets snagged on these sawtooth blades as the bee tries to retract its stinger. As a result, the only way for the bee to escape is by tearing its stinger away from its own body. So while bees may be formidable fighters in the insect world, their stingers end up backfiring when used against humans. Stinging mom from the inside. At first glance, the gentle and flat appearance of a stingray swimming in the sea might not seem that threatening. However, upon closer inspection of their tails, even these majestic creatures need protection from their own defenses. A stingray's tail is elongated and tapers like a whip, with venomous barbed spines at the tip. These spines arbor a potent venom that includes excruciating pain, and their sharpness is comparable to that of a knife, capable of penetrating through muscle with ease. To make matters even worse, fragments of the spine can break off and remain embedded in the skin. Injecting venom and leading to unpleasant infections are the byproduct. Even the toughest servers have shed tears due to stingray wounds. Interestingly, the barbed tail of the stingray can also pose a threat to the stingray itself. Rays give birth to live young, nurturing their pups in a womb similar to humans. However, the tails of these fetal stingrays are so hazardous that they've developed protective caps to prevent internal lacerations in the mother stingray. If a stingray pup prematurely loses its tail cap, it can cause significant pain and internal damage to the mother. It's as if human babies had razor blades attached to their feet while still in the womb, as if childbirth wasn't already challenging enough. Deadly Bathroom Break Sloths are those utterly adorable creatures that dwell in the tropical treetops. They may seem carefree, but the truth is, every time a sloth decides to take a bathroom break, it puts its life on the line with deadly bowel movements. Scientists have likened their toilet time to a remarkable event akin to childbirth rather than the typical bathroom breaks that humans take. Believe it or not, a sloth can lose up to a whopping one-third of its body weight from a single poop. Thankfully, due to their incredibly slow metabolism, sloths only have to endure this ordeal once a week. For a sloth, venturing out from its tree is solely for the purpose of answering nature's call. It's during these rare moments that sloths engage in a special ritual known as the poo dance. They shuffle around to create a small hole in which to defecate. Once their business is done, they perform another little dance to cover up their droppings with leaf litter before slowly ascending back up the tree. However, when sloths descend from their lofty abodes, they compromise their camo. Moving at an excruciatingly slow pace, their fur becomes a perfect habitat for algae to grow, helping them blend seamlessly with the green foliage of the rainforest canopy. On the ground, they become conspicuous and easy targets for predators, which is why more than half of all sloths meet their demise outside the safety of their trees. They're just waiting to be snatched up by waiting predators. Who'd have thought that a simple act of emptying one's bowels could become a matter of life or death? Ugh. Now you might wonder why sloths undertake this perilous journey in the first place. Why don't they simply do their business from the safety of the treetop canopy? Well, nobody really knows for sure, actually. Some theories propose that pooping from the canopy could be noisy, potentially giving away their otherwise expertly camouflaged location. Others speculate that it might be a means for sloths to socialize with their fellow furry friends. Or perhaps they simply derive great pleasure from performing their weekly dance performances. Seems like it's the highlight of their week, adding a touch of excitement to their slow-paced lives. Killer Nails as we all know, horses and donkeys have hooves, which are essentially thickened toenails that evolved from the enlargement of the middle toe and their foot bones millions of years ago. Just like our own toenails, the left unchecked they continue to grow and curl into a gnarled shape. However, these overgrown nails aren't just an unsightly curse, they have detrimental effects on the animal's well-being. Horses with overgrown hooves end up walking on the balls of their feet, causing excessive stretching of the tendons. This leads to painful conditions such as arthritis, muscle atrophy, and bone loss. Over time, the pain becomes so severe that the animals are rendered unable to walk. Unable to access food or water, their survival is jeopardized. Really, it's a heartbreaking outcome. Regrettably, in the case of domestic horses, overgrown hooves are often the result of neglect and poor treatment. Donkeys and horses that are unable to naturally wear down their hooves by walking on hard surfaces are confined to tight and cramped conditions. All they really need is a little hoof care, just like we benefit from a good manicure. Horns from Hell Horns, those stylish headsets worn by animals like cattle, sheep, goats, and antelopes. They're composed of keratin, the same protein found in our hairs and nails. Yet while a botch haircut or manicure can be frustrating, nothing compares to the agony of an ingrown horn. Similar to our nails, horns have a continuous growth pattern and start to curve as the animals age. For instance, consider the Wiltshire horn sheep whose horns gracefully grow and curl in front of their faces. While most horns grow outward without issue, these are instances where they inwardly curl dangerously close to the animal's head. 
Sometimes nature's design can take a wrong turn, as exemplified by this unfortunate ram. Due to genetic misfortune, his horn curvature has grown into his own skull, ultimately leading to his own demise. Yet, ingrown horns aren't solely caused by genetic factors. In species where males engage in territorial battles, they often collide head-on to establish dominance. Unfortunately, these forceful impacts can damage the horn plates and misalign horn growth. This results in horns that grow at extreme angles and even inflict wounds upon the animals themselves. Perfect example is this pitiful bighorn sheep. His horn growth plates have been displaced further back on his head, causing his horn to curl tightly, resulting in a rupture of his nose. That's the kind of nose ring nobody would want. See you all next time.